Today, I want to talk about something that might be a bit challenging for many of us, but it's also incredibly powerful. Being still and letting God fight for us. In a world that constantly demands action and hustle, it can be tough to embrace the idea of stillness. But trust me, there's immense strength in it. My friends, have you ever felt like life is just one big battlefield? It's like everywhere you turn, there's a new challenge to face, a new conflict to overcome. Some of these battles are visible to the naked eye. Maybe it's a disagreement with a co-worker, a strained relationship with a family member, or a tough situation at work that just won't seem to budge. But then there are the battles that rage within us, unseen to the world, but felt with every fiber of our being. These internal battles, they're the ones that can keep us up at night, tossing and turning as we wrestle with doubts, fears, and anxieties. We put on a brave face for the world, but inside, we're crumbling under the weight of it all. And in the midst of it, we convince ourselves that we have to fight these battles alone, that it's up to us to muster up enough strength and courage to face whatever comes our way. But what if I told you there's another way? What if I told you that you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders? That there's someone who's willing to fight for you? To stand by your side through every trial and tribulation? It may sound too good to be true, but it's not. It's the promise of a God who loves us more than we could ever imagine. A God who longs to see us free from the chains that bind us. So, my friends, I urge you to lay down your weapons the ones you've been using to fight these battles on your own. Surrender your fears, your doubts, your anxieties, and allow God to step in and fight for you. It won't be easy. Letting go never is. But I promise you, it will be worth it. So take a deep breath and trust that God has got this. He's got you. And together, you can overcome even the tettest battle's life throws your way. Indeed, surrendering control is often misunderstood as a passive act or a sign of weakness. But in reality, it's one of the most courageous and empowering decisions we can make. When we talk about being still and surrendering control, we're not advocating for apathy or resignation. Instead, we're inviting you to release the tight grip of control that you may have over every aspect of your life and instead entrusted into the hands of a loving and sovereign God. Surrendering control is an act of faith, a declaration that we believe God's plans are higher than our own and that His ways are better than ours. It's an acknowledgement that there are battles beyond our capacity to win, no matter how hard we try or how much we plan. For many of us, surrendering control can be terrifying. We live in a world that glorifies self-sufficiency and independence, where being in control is often equated with success and security. But the reality is, our attempts to control every aspect of our lives only lead to anxiety, stress, and ultimately dissatisfaction. True, freedom and peace are found not in our ability to control, but in our willingness to surrender. When we release the burden of trying to figure everything out on our own and instead place our trust in God, we discover a peace that surpasses all understanding. In that surrender, we find the freedom to let go of our fears and anxieties, knowing that we are held securely in the palm of God's hand. We find the courage to face uncertainty and adversity with confidence knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. So, if you're feeling overwhelmed by the weight of trying to control every aspect of your life, I encourage you to take a step back and surrender. Trust that God is in charge and that His plans for you are good and perfect. As you release control and embrace surrender, may you find true freedom, peace, and joy in the midst of life's uncertainties. So my friends, in the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's all too easy to get caught up in the never-ending cycle of striving and struggling. 
we're constantly bombarded with tasks, responsibilities, and expectations, leaving us feeling drained and depleted. But amidst the chaos and noise, there lies a sanctuary of peace, a refuge found in the stillness of God's presence. When we're always on the go, always pushing forward, we miss out on the profound peace that can only be found in being still before God. It's in those quiet moments of surrender, when we lay down our burdens and worries at His feet, that we discover true rest for our souls. You see, stillness isn't just about physical inactivity. It's a posture of the heart. It's about quieting our minds and opening our hearts to the gentle whisper of God's voice. It's about letting go of the need to control and striving, and instead, allowing ourselves to be enveloped by the peace that surpasses all understanding. If you're feeling overwhelmed or exhausted from trying to fight your battles alone, I want to encourage you to take a step back and be still. Find a quiet place, free from distractions, and simply rest in the presence of God. Let go of the need to have it all figured out, and instead trust that God is with you in the midst of your struggles. As you surrender to His peace, may you find a sense of calm washing over you, a peace that transcends circumstances and brings healing to your weary soul. So breathe deeply, dear friend, and allow God's peace to fill every corner of your being. For in Him, you will find rest for your soul. Now let's talk about trusting God's promises. Trusting in something we can't see can indeed be a challenge, especially in a world that often emphasizes tangible evidence and concrete assurances. Yet, as believers, we are called to trust in the promises of God, even when they seem beyond our comprehension or grasp. The beauty of trusting in God's promises lies in their unwavering certainty. Throughout the pages of Scripture, we encounter countless examples of God's faithfulness and provision in the lives of His people. From the parting of the Red Sea to the feeding of the 5,000, from the resurrection of Lazarus to the salvation of Saul on the road to Damascus, the Bible is replete with stories of God's miraculous intervention in the lives of His children. In each of these stories, we see a common thread. God's unwavering commitment to His people and His unfailing promises to fight for them. Time and time again, God demonstrates His power and sovereignty, proving that nothing is impossible for Him. So, when we choose to be still and trust in God's promises, we can do so with unwavering confidence. We can rest assured that He who has promised is faithful, and He will surely come through for us in our time of need. Yes, letting go of control and trusting in God's promises may not always be easy, especially when we're faced with uncertainty or adversity. But it's in those moments of surrender that we find true peace and freedom. So, dear friend, I encourage you to hold fast to the promises of God, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill them. Trust in His unfailing love and His mighty power, and let His promises be a source of strength and hope in the midst of life's challenges. For when we choose to be still and trust in God's promises, we can rest assured that He will fight for us and lead us to victory, my friends. Let's discuss overcoming fear and doubt. So, fear and doubt, two formidable foes that often stand between us and the peace that comes from being still in the presence of God. These twin adversaries whisper lies of inadequacy and uncertainty, convincing us that if we dare to stop fighting, everything will crumble beneath us. But here's the truth that we must hold on to with unwavering faith. God is bigger than our fears and doubts combined. His power and love surpass anything that we could ever imagine. When we choose to be still in His presence, we tap into a wellspring of courage and strength that enables us to face whatever challenges may come our way. Being still doesn't mean that we're passive 
or resign to our circumstances. It means that we're actively choosing to trust in God's sovereignty and goodness, even when our fears and doubts threaten to overwhelm us. It means acknowledging that, no matter what storms rage around us, God is with us, every step of the way, guiding us with His steady hand and comforting us with His unfailing love. So, if you find yourself paralyzed by fear or crippled by doubt, I want to encourage you to take a deep breath and be still. Quiet the voices of fear and doubt and listen instead to the reassuring voice of God speaking peace and courage into your soul. Know that you are not alone in your struggles. God is with you, ready to walk alongside you and help you overcome every obstacle that stands in your way. So, step out in faith, dear friend, and trust that God's presence will give you the strength and courage you need to face whatever challenges lie ahead. My friends, being still also requires patience. Patience, the virtue that seems to be in short supply in our fast-paced, instant gratification world. We live in an era where everything is available at the touch of a button, and waiting even a few seconds feels like an eternity. But when it comes to being still before God, patience is not just a virtue, it's a necessity. You see, being still requires us to surrender not only control, but also our desire for immediate results. We must come to terms with the fact that God operates on His own timeline, which doesn't always align with ours. And while waiting for His timing can be challenging, it's in those moments of patience that we learn some of life's most valuable lessons. When we choose to be still, we're essentially saying to God, I trust your timing, even when it doesn't make sense to me. It's an act of faith that requires us to let go of our need for instant gratification and instead embrace the beauty of God's perfect timing. But let's be honest, waiting is hard. It requires us to confront our impatience and learn to be content in the midst of uncertainty. It's a journey filled with ups and downs, victories and setbacks. But through it all, God is teaching us the art of patience, of trusting Him even when we can't see the end result. So, if you find yourself growing impatient in your season of waiting, I want to encourage you to take heart. Trust that God's timing is perfect. Even when it doesn't feel like it, lean into His presence and allow Him to fill you with the peace and contentment that can only come from Him. Remember, being still doesn't mean doing nothing. It means actively trusting and waiting for God to move in His perfect timing. So, embrace patience as a companion on your journey of faith knowing that God is faithful to fulfill His promises in His own time and in His own way. Beloved friends, in the heat of battle, our natural inclination is to grasp tightly onto control, desperately trying to dictate the outcome in our favor. We meticulously plan and strategize, believing that we know what's best for ourselves. But the truth is, our limited perspective often blinds us to the greater plan that God has in store for us. Letting go of the outcome is one of the most difficult yet liberating acts of faith we can undertake. It requires us to relinquish our grip on the illusion of control and instead trust in God's wisdom and sovereignty. We must acknowledge that His plan for our lives far surpasses anything we could ever dream or imagine. But here's the beautiful paradox. In surrendering to God's will, we find true freedom and peace. We release the burden of trying to force our desired outcome and instead open ourselves up to the miraculous possibilities that God has in store for us. When we let go and trust in God's plan, we invite Him to work wonders in our lives, transforming our circumstances renewing our hearts, and leading us down paths we never could have imagined on our own. It's a journey of faith marked by surrender, trust, and an unwavering belief in God's goodness. So, my friend, I want to encourage you to loosen your grip on the outcome of your battles. 
trust that God's plan for your life is far greater than anything you could ever imagine. Surrender to His will and watch with awe and wonder as He works miracles in your midst. For when we let go and trust in God's plan, we open ourselves up to a future filled with hope, joy, and endless possibilities. My friends, I want to leave you with a message of hope and encouragement. Whatever battles you may be facing today, whether visible conflicts with others, internal struggles with doubts and fears, or challenges that seem insurmountable, know this. You are not alone. You do not have to bear the weight of these burdens on your own weary shoulders. In the stillness of God's presence, there is refuge. In surrendering control, there is freedom. In trusting God's promises, there is hope. And in embracing patience and letting go of the outcome, there is peace beyond understanding. So I implore you, be still. Quiet the clamor of your mind and the tumult of your heart. Surrender control and relinquish the illusion of self-sufficiency. Trust in the unwavering faithfulness of God, knowing that He is fighting for you, even when you cannot see the battle raging. And as you do, may you experience the fullness of God's peace, His provision, and His presence like never before. May His love surround you like a warm embrace, comforting you in times of trouble and guiding you along the path of righteousness. Remember, dear friends, you are cherished, you are valued, and you are deeply loved by the Creator of the universe. So, go forth in confidence, knowing that the God who holds the stars in place is fighting for you, and in Him, you will find strength, courage, and victory. Beloved friends, if this message resonates with you, I encourage you to share the love and hope you have received. If these words have stirred something within you, consider passing them along to someone who may benefit. Your act of kindness could be a lifeline for someone in need. Whether it's a family member, friend, or co-worker, sharing this message could make a significant difference in their lives. If you feel inclined, share your thoughts in the comments below. Your reflections can uplift others and strengthen our faith community. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more uplifting messages in the future. Together, let's spread God's love to every corner of the world. May God bless you abundantly, and may His peace be with you always. Now, Open your hearts to pray with me. Dear Lord, as we come before you today, we bring our hearts and souls to you. We ask that you touch our hearts in a way that only you can. Help us to feel your love and presence in our lives and give us the strength to face the challenges that lie ahead. Lord, we know that you are always with us guiding us and leading us on the right path. We ask that you continue to bless us with your love and grace, and that you help us to be a light in this world. We pray for those who are hurting and in need of your comfort and healing touch. We ask that you wrap your arms around them and give them the strength and courage to face each day. Lord, we ask that you help us to be more like you. Help us to show love and kindness to those around us and to be a reflection of your light in this world. We thank you for your unfailing love and mercy and for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray in his holy name. Amen.